Well, back home, police are asking for the public's help, tracking down a driver who struck and killed a man on the main line and never stopped. The deadly hit and run happened Tuesday night on Lancaster Avenue in Radnor Township. Our Natasha Brown joins us now from the police department with more on the search for a killer. Natasha. Well, good evening to you, Yuki. Police have several images of this SUV as it made its way away from this fatal hit and run scene, and they are continuing to gather even more evidence in hopes of finding the driver. I don't know how they can live with their conscience, but pretty sad. Very sad. Margaret Swisher has lived in Radnor Township for decades and travels Lancaster Avenue often. She can't understand how someone could hit a pedestrian crossing the street and just keep going. That's exactly what happened on a rainy Tuesday night, March 6th, shortly after 8 p.m., when Radnor police say the driver of this white GMC Yukon hit a 69-year-old man in the 500 block of Lancaster Avenue. Witnesses say the SUV briefly stopped and then sped away. A striking vehicle, a white GMC S Yukon SUV, was seen speeding away from the accident scene westbound direction towards Chester County on Lancaster Avenue. This is outside the Wayne Movie Theater in the 100 block West Lancaster Avenue. Police captured a collection of images of the truck from the crash scene out to Paoli Pike where it was last seen. When it zooms in, you can clearly see the damage to the headlight and the front fender. We would encourage the individual who is responsible for this crime to turn themselves in. Investigators believe the white GMC Yukon, similar to this one, is a newer model 2016 with upgrades and a specialty package. The blue route's right there, so it's not like it's necessarily a local person. People are getting on and off the blue route. They're going to various points, so it could have been someone passing through, and they just figured they could get away with it. Well, police are certainly trying to make sure that the driver doesn't get away with this fatal hit and run. Right now, there is a $10,000 reward for any information that leads to an arrest in this case. Meantime, the 69-year-old victim has been identified as Fred Gitterman of Bryn Mawr. That's the latest here at Radnor Township Police. Natasha Brown, CBS3 Eyewitness News.